Do people know the diversity of birds of prey we have in Alberta? They, a lot of times they have no idea, and they're often very surprised to see that we've got such an incredible variety of wildlife, even very close to urban areas. You've turned your hobby into a full-time vocation, is that the right word? I call it my full-time liability, <laughs> because we, we do volunteer wildlife rescue year-round, and the reason we built this centre is so that we can share our conservation work and our rescue work with visitors that come through. When people pay their admission to come through, they're helping us release more birds back to the wild. We try to make it a real interactive experience rather than just a, a zoo for, for hawks and owls. A lot of birds and creatures get injured because of some unfortunate accidental encounter with people. And that's why all these birds here are in captivity is because they either are injured and recuperating or they can't, wouldn't survive in the wild. So even a bird that we might keep permanently, it's a better option than being put to sleep. It's the best part of your business or, or your operation here. What, what gets you up on it? Well, the two things. One is uh, releasing birds back to the wild. You know, just giving these birds a second chance at life after they've been maybe found starving or hit by cars. And the other thing is, is uh, just the smiles on the faces of visitors and just that look of astonishment and amazement when they've actually got a live owl or, or a bird perching on their arm for a photograph. How many birds have you let go in your career? We never keep track specifically, but several hundred. Probably probably a few thousand over my life, lifetime in the past 40 years. Do you choke up when you let one go? Uh, you choke up, but then you're also happy as well. It's kind of like your kids leaving home. But very, very occasionally you get one who kind of circles around a little bit and looks down if there's some nice thermals, you know, catches the thermals flying up and it does kind of look down. So uh, sometimes we take that as a good sign that maybe they are showing their appreciation to us. Mm -hmm.